In this video, we're going to be photographing my new tarantula, a carabina versicolor. Hello, my name is Stuart Wood and welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to be photographing a carabina versicolor tarantula. Now, this is a new tarantula that I got a couple of months ago. <laughs> so it's not quite new. But I needed him to settle into his new home before photographing him. This is a kind of a field video because I did intend to have a um, macro adventure out uh, for this video, except every time I take the camera out, it started raining, so I couldn't get that video done. So we're going to do this video instead. And I have been meaning to do this video for quite a while. Now I got this spider from spoonernest.com. It's from Maria, where I get my jumping spiders from. Link in the description if you want to have a look at these spiders. So first of all, I'm just going to move my camera out of the way. Okay. And no, I'm not going to try and sell you anything in this video, unless, of course, you want to buy my macro backgrounds, available at stuartwood.com. Now, let's get this little chap here. So he's in, he's in his little enclosure here. Okay, so we're going to have to get him out in a minute. But we need to make... Uh, an environment that's nice for him. Okay, so what we're going to go for is... I'm going to go for a blue background. You know I like my blue backgrounds at the moment. I'm going to choose this background, which is from my macro backgrounds that you can purchase and download now and print out yourself from my website, stuartwood.com. So we're going to approach this the same way that we did with the jumping spider images with the Irix lens. So first of all, I'm going to prop up some of these. These are just branches that I got from outside. Okay. Got these months ago for doing a different type of photography. But the one thing I've done with these branches is I've put them in the microwave just to make sure there's no pests or any kind of like insect that's on there, just to make sure that they're completely clean. Now this tarantula, I've only had him out once since I've had him, okay? I don't know if it's a he or a she, but we'll refer to him as a he. But he is very fast at running away. So what we want to do is we want to try and make it so that there's multiple areas he can want to and hide, because if the tarantula feels comfortable and safe, He's going to keep still so we can get a picture. I'm going to put several of these up now. I'm going to need more of these uh, memo clip holders. Now he's got kind of a little branch system he can go up to. Okay. We shall put down some brown leaves on the bottom just in case he stays at the bottom. Because again, we don't know what this spider is going to do. Now, ideally, I want him on one of these little branches, okay? But if he doesn't, then we have some stuff down the bottom. An important note to make is when I made this macro table, I sealed all of the edges around. So all the edge towards the wall is completely sealed off. So if he does run towards the wall, he can't get inside any gaps or anything, okay? So bear that in mind if you do do this with your tarantula. So I want to get the camera set up now because I want to limit the amount of time that this tarantula is out of its enclosure because it is only a spiderling. Now it's about the size of a jumping spider, which is convenient for us, so we know that a one-to-one -one macro lens is going to be perfect for this spider. So I have the Irix 150mm f2.8 Dragonfly macro lens. We've all seen this lens, we're quite impressed with the lens. Shame it's got a lack of instabilization, but you know, we can't have everything, can we? I'm going to go with f16 because this lens is very good at f16. Maxing speed for this camera is 1 200th of a second. And as I record this, the specs for the 90D has just been leaked. And uh, Canon, I really hope you put 24 frames a second on that camera. Otherwise, I might be saying hello to Nikon. On the flash, I'm going to keep it as standard flash. Okay, I'm going to put these in a little bit. I'm just going to keep it as a standard flash for this particular shoot. But for the first image at least, okay? Um, again, we might develop that as we go along. So let's get this little chap out of his enclosure. You can see I'm very nervous because although I have handled him before, 
is very fast. So if he decides to bolt, he's gone. You know what I mean? He's literally, he'll be gone. Okay, so we got him out. There he is. And he's got like a blue hue to him. And it's got to be one of the sweetest tarantulas I've ever owned, even though I've only owned two. Uh, one of my tarantulas died not long ago. I think it was a male, so he had a very short lifespan. But um, my daughter's tarantula is still alive and is big, getting bigger, but is very aggressive. So that's why we haven't got round to photographing that tarantula, because I don't feel comfortable photographing that tarantula. But this little guy, he's very sweet. Look at him. He's uh, very sweet. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try and put him onto these branches here. Okay. I could do, I mean, if I'd thought this out beforehand, uh, because I, I just, I, you know, I just got the camera out and just doing this because of it being raining outside. Then if I had thought about this, I would have got myself some cork bark. But unfortunately, we haven't got any. So I'm just going to put him on here now. Okay. And the aim here is to get like a nice um, profile shot of him with a nice out of focus background. Okay. So again, my camera is at... One two hundredth of a second, that's the max sync speed of the flash, okay. We're at f16, so we've got a decent depth of field, and with this lens it's quite sharp, and ISO 100, okay. And the flash is set up as standard, it's just a standard TTL setting on the twin macro flash. Now, people are asking me to do a video about the twin macro flash, I'm trying to get around to it, but, you know, if I'm going to do a video, I need to know everything to know about, I need to know everything I need to know about this flash, and again, uh, the comparison between this and a ring flash. So I am working on that, but it is going to take me a while. So it's most likely going to be autumn time when that comes out. But by the time I'm finished teaching you all that, you'll be ready for next spring. Now that's the good point. Right, so we are going to see if we can coax this spider out. And by that, I mean he's facing the wrong way. I'm going to take a picture of him anyway. Oh, look at the colour. The colours are beautiful on this spider. Now, what I want to do is, if I can just show you this, I'm going to bring this flash up a little bit. So the flash is pointing downwards. This flash is going to go down a little bit. Okay, so if you look at there, that's what the configuration is now. We have this one who's up a little bit. Okay, pointing down. You see me? And this one is here, pointing inwards. So this flash is going to be on full power. This one is going to be on one eighth power and we do that by going into the ratio and moving it over to the opposite way so if you're looking at your the back of your screen here and you move the ratio over to the right yeah to one eighth the head on the left is actually at one eighth it's, it's all backwards it's, it's weird okay he's down here now so he's had a little run around i'm gonna see if i can get a shot of him here And again, I'm on my Lazy Susan with the background over there so that I can turn it round whenever I want to. And unfortunately, he's going underneath here again. It's coming in a position I can't really get to at the moment. Okay, he's coming down this way, look. Now he's gone into a hole. Okay, he's tucked up in a hole now. He feels safe. Unfortunately... Let me just take a picture. Uh, unfortunately, we can't see his eyes. We're going to have to wait a little while for him to come out and explore because he's going to want to, you know, move around, build probably a new nest is probably what he's thinking right now. So eventually he is going to come out of there. Okay, so he's come out now. If you see, see on the overhead camera now, he's just there. So he's moving very slowly, so I'm hoping I can just spin this around. Okay, he's coming back down underneath, which, you know, we're not going to get a shot down there, are we? All these spiders seem to like this little piece of wood here. It's it's strange, because I would have, I would have expected him to be on these, uh, these twigs up here. But for some reason, he likes that. Let's see if we can get a shot of him. Oh, oh getting a bit close there. In fact, we're too close. Let's go. Let's get to one to one point two on the magnification. 
if, the, if that's better. Beautiful looking spider, absolutely beautiful. But that's not the image I want. It's, um, the background's ugly. Uh, the angle I think is a little bit wrong. And I think we need to diffuse the light a little bit more. Okay, so I just ran into the uh, bathroom and grabbed myself some toilet paper. Brand new wall. Get rid of that. I'm just going to lay this over the top. And then put that back on top. Okay, see how I'm doing that. One strip. Take off the, uh, the diffusers, which are held on by magnets. And then do that. Where is he? Right, okay, so... Again, this is one of the things you have to deal with, is not doing what I thought he would do. So, I'm going to take the branches off. Okay, and we shall just leave the leaves and this funky thing, whatever it's called. If anyone knows what this is called, let me know, yeah? That's what we're going to do. So this is going to be very similar to the um, the shot of the jumping spider. I'm, I'm trying to keep the channel um, variety up, but sometimes we get videos like this that are a bit of a repetitive nature. Hopefully you won't mind um, that. Background's a little bit mm, for me. So I'm going to fall back to my A6 cards. I'm getting a bit bored of blue, so I'm going to pull out a green background card. Again, available from shootwood.com. These are digital downloads. I have been requested for physical ones, which um, are not available at the moment. So I might make the physical ones available that are laminated and are signed uh, if I get enough people ask for them. But again, on this channel, I only do things that you ask me to do, okay? Let's get another picture. I can't see his eyes, very hard to see his eyes. He's got his um you know his legs in the way. Let's see if we can coax him out a little bit. There we go. Right. I'm gonna dump my chair so I can get much lower down to him. Okay, he's right on the edge there. I can see his face. Is that the shot we wanted? Beautiful. Look at the colours on him. Absolutely beautiful. Shame I cut off his, uh, his paw. Cut off his paw. You'll have to forgive my uh, perspiration, but it is hard work. He's not like a jumper. Plus point, he's not going to jump around. If only I was zoomed out just a little bit more, I would have got the shot then. So I'm not 100% happy with that shot. But if we could get a shot similar to that, but his whole body and the paws included are in shot, I will be happy. So what I'm going to do now, just like we did with the jumping spiders, I'm going to grab him. Or I should say I'm going to grab the leaf he's on. Like that. Turn it over and then place it on top of where I want him. So I'm not physically touching him, I'm just lifting the, uh, the leaf up. I really should print out one of the green ones in a large A4 format for this job, but we'll work with what we got. So unlike the jumping spiders, and the jumping spiders, we wait for them to keep still, then we take the picture. Unfortunately, when this versicolor tarantula is keeping still, his front paws are in front of his eyes, and that's not what we want. So we have to wait for him to move. And again, his paws are in the way again. So I'm going to have to wait for this little guy to uh, start walking around. I need him to explore the environment is what I need. Okay, he's not moving at the moment, but I think I can see his eyes. Let's try and get a shot.
lightly covered up. Just slightly. I don't think we're going to get a better picture of him because he's not cooperating now. I think he's been out of his enclosure long enough. So I'm happy with the one we got, although we did cut off his paw. Um, we could try again another time to get a better picture of him. So right now, I'm just going to put him away. There we go. Now he decides to walk, don't he? Hey. So that's our Caribbean of Versicolor. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Again, you can get my macro backgrounds from my website. It does help to support my work and helps me to produce these videos that are for you for free. Again, let me know in the comments what you thought of this uh, video. Again, it is a filler video because I did expect to have a macro adventure out today, but unfortunately with the weather, I wasn't able to produce that video. I want to thank you for getting to the end of this video. Again, my name is Stuart Wood, and I will see you on the next video. In this video, we're going to be... <sighs> oh, God damn it. I'm trying to read it off the website here, and I still can't get it right. Carabina Versicolor. Carabina Versicolor. Yeah, you can have a laugh over that one, can't you? Yep, I'll just knock the bin over. <laughs>